All right, here we go with another full HD review. Um, this time we're looking at the uh, Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dog Pound from the, the Wave 2 of the Turtles, which um, I hate to even call it a wave, because really it's only three new guys. Um, you got um, Dog Pound here that I got in my hand, you got Fish Face, and then Metalhead. Um, and that's it that's new. I mean, I know they're reissuing the other turtles, but man, these guys, the Wave 1 was like still out in droves. Um, I happened to pick these guys up at the Toys R Us sale they had where it was a uh, spend $35 worth of turtles on turtle stuff and get $10 off. So basically it was like buy three turtles, get one free. Because um, they were what, uh, $8.99, $9.99. So four turtles for 30 bucks comes out to a little bit less than $8 a piece plus tax. Not bad. It's like seven, a little bit less than what Walmart has them. Walmart's gone for like seven seventy-seven, so it's definitely worth it because I ended up getting Dog Pound and Fish Face. Um, so, pretty cool. I'm looking at the packaging. You know, it's real reminiscent of the old, uh, the '90s style. Um, a lot of bright colors. Um, really, really goes back to the Turtles' roots, coming out of that, uh, you know, the crazy '80s with uh, all the pinks and purples and neons and all that stuff. And, and the packaging just jumps right back into that. Uh, into that uh, that time period, um, the turtle designs, new turtle designs, right there on the side. Um, as of right now, I've only seen like the first three episodes, I think, two episodes, three episodes. Um, of course, the back has his bio there, which I'll put a still up uh, somewhere on the slideshow. Um, these are still made by Playmates, which is awesome. Um, you know, these guys were doing turtles back in the day um, before NECA um, did their versions. Uh, they did um, Star Trek: Next Generation and uh, original series and. Uh, uh, Deep Space Nine and all that stuff. So, uh, Playmates has been around, and yeah, they do pretty good. This stuff's pretty sturdy. I mean, they're definitely uh, definitely made for kids, ages four and up. Um, but uh, you know, hopefully the collector market picks up on them too and keeps the line going, um, keeping those obscure characters off the shelves that the kids don't want. So I guess the next step is just open this guy up and uh, we'll check him out uh, all the way. Um, can note there in the bottom, he has his tail and his mane. Um, stuffed in there because he's actually a pretty chunky figure compared to the uh, other guys. So let me go ahead and get this guy off his car and then we'll check him out. All right, now they've got the packaging out of the packaging. Um, just show the card art off there a little bit. It's really plain. It's same for each character. Nothing super special. The only different is the little bio card on the on the back and wherever the artwork cuts out. Um, and they do um, have an insert that's got the character's name on it. And then for him, it has a little um, picture down here that says insert spikes and tail um, into your dog pound figure. Sturdy little card there. Put that in the uh, card back pile. Um, here he is without his uh, parts attached. See the part for the um, or place for the uh, tail and the spikes to go. Um, just got to stick this in there. Until it clicks, like so. Same thing with the tail. If it will go, there it goes, and it is in there. And they they stay. This stuff isn't like falling off. It's going to take uh, some major warpage. Um, just taking a look at his paint apps, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's got a nice dusting of uh, red over the white plastic there. Maroon um, um, uh, molded uh, legs and, and waist. Actually, is that paint? Huh, pretty neat. It's actually white legs, and but the maroon looks really good. It matches up to his uh, crotch piece really well. Um, not bad. Um, has gray padding on there painted. Um, then, of course, has all the black details on his humongous face. Um, his head does have a, a swivel on there. He has a waist swivel as well. As well as a ball joint uh, type shoulder. Um, he does have a forearm rotation. Um, both arms and no additional hand articulation or anything no knee articulation he does have like the same kind of ball type joint at the hip and that's about it um, doesn't come with any accessories he's just a big group um, let me actually get him focused here a little better and then um, here he is with uh, one of the turtles there for scaling he's right up side by side so there you go pretty cool little figure um haven't seen him in the show yet um he's supposed to be um mutated from the uh, martial arts master um is a chris bradford 
Um, kind of like a Chuck Norris looking guy. Um, so that's kind of neat. It has bone claws coming out of the arm over here. Um, those are like a squishy plastic so, you know, Junior doesn't get his uh, eye poked out. Same thing with the uh, spikes and tail. They're kind of smushy. But it's all like... Um, Something's high quality plastic. Nothing smells like it's gonna be uh, gonna be breaking off anytime soon. Probably have some paint wear on the ears eventually, just because they protrude and, and all of his little uh, spiked up hair. Um, we'll probably get some paint loss after a while, but not too bad. Um, he does have peg holes, which I don't have any kind of stands that fit these size holes. I think they're pretty close to the um, to the ones that they use in the um, Bandai's. Uh, Power Rangers. They're a little bit bigger than the standard three and three quarter inch uh, vintage um, GI Joe Star Wars uh, peg holes, which is like the standard. Like you have like the new size holes and the old size holes. And I guess there's a there's another stand out there, hopefully for these guys. Um, but not too bad. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, I give them about a about an eight out of ten. I would like to see the, the color blended a little bit better on his snap on part there. Um, I'd like to have seen uh, knee or foot articulation, but you know each of these guys has their own individual articulation. I mean you can't count on anybody um, across the board having the same articulation bar the turtles. I mean the turtles themselves, the four, they're probably always going to have the same articulation unless they come up with some crazy variant of one figure or different variants of the figures. That have, like, they each, like, like they did previously like with the you know, Don is this superhero, and this guy is this space captain, or whatever. And if they do different sculpts, they may have different articulation. But so far, each of the different character types, um, totally different articulation on each one. So, which, which is kind of cool. I'd rather like see it like that than across the board articulation, trying to squeeze it where it doesn't belong, and and all that. But would like to see the paint paint apps a little bit better, only because um, the turtles look look really good with their their green. Uh, plastic and their tan shells, their brown um, elbow pads, wrist pads, and then their wrappings on their fingers, as well as their uh, character-specific masks. So it's kind of open for a little bit more out of these guys in this next wave. But not a bad little chunky figure for the kids. So I think I'd recommend them. I mean, you got to have bad guys to fight the turtles, right? You can't be fighting the Krang um, androids all the time, or robot chassis, or whatever you want to call them. So Nickelodeon's. Uh, Dog Pound from the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle lines by Playmates. Um, thumbs up? Sure. Why not? <laughs>